Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be discussing about the dental age estimation methods that were left. Uh, in my previous video, I've already discussed these three methods that is Atlas method, Shore and Maslow method and the Emergence method. These are methods that are used for um, age estimation, dental age estimation in children and in adolescents. In today's video, I'm, I'll be discussing about these three visual gustafson and amino acid gustafson um i've already made a separate video for gustafson since it is quite a big method so that video's link is given in the description box um let's talk about the other two methods now first is the most basic or the simplest one that is visual method in which simply we um, visualize the teeth carefully and we study the teeth and then we try to you know um, give an estimate age of that person so this is the simplest age estimation method this method is based on clinical expertise without using any formal method so we need clinical expertise we need the knowledge about the subject that is the knowledge of odontology is required um, with knowledge what we also need is experience right so for this method with the forensic odontologists need to have the subject knowledge and as well as the experience is required and of course this method is questionable because how we perceive something is subject to questions how another person is going to perceive the same thing can be you know different so um this method is questionable then gustafson's method which is very important method uh, has already been discussed in short i can discuss it here like gustafson in 1950 he came up with a method in which six dental changes were studied which were atresion periodontosis secondary dentine cementum deposition root resorption and transparency of root and these six criteria or changes we can say they were um, ranked basically from zero to three for 0, 1, 2 and 3, 3 ranks were given like for example attrition A, at, um, A is the symbol for attrition and A0 means there was no attrition A1 means that um, attrition is there in the enamel A2 means attrition is there in the dentine A3 means attrition has the depalparia so all these changes, dental changes they were, they are scaled right so um you can check that video out i have explained uh, the entire gustafson method very clearly in that particular video then talking about the next uh, method that is amino acid racemization so the relationship between the extent of aspartic acid racemization in dentinal biopsy specimens and age is very close and it facilitates age estimation now as the age advances as we grow old the l aspartic acid aspartic acid is a is an amino acid so this aspartic acid l aspartic acid starts to get changed into d form d aspartic acid so l aspartic acid starts to get converted into d aspartic acid which is called racemization there are a number of changes that occurs in the proteins a number of chemical reactions like oxidation isomerization racemization these um, changes occur uh, these are age related changes that occur among these changes one is racemization racemization means conversion of l form to D form and this starts to occur as the age progresses now in living body normally what happens is uh, the proteins that are synthesized the newly formed proteins are in L form okay the newly formed ones are in L form although there are some exceptions but most of them are L form and with time racemization occurs and they gets converted into D form by some chemical reactions so by calculating the amount of d aspartic acid that is present in the body we can give an estimate on how old the person is because if there is more amount of d aspartic acid than l the person is old whereas if more amount of l aspartic acid is present that means the person is young so this method is exclusively used in age estimation for un unidentified corpse 
the method involves extraction of one or more teeth hence this method was not applied on living humans due to ethical concern of course since the method um, needs one or more teeth to be completely removed or extracted therefore this is not applied on human living humans therefore a biopsy a special biopsy technique applicable to dentine was developed which caused only minor discomfort to the subject this is the formula that is used to um, determine the coefficient of racemization in which a is rate constant of aspartic acid racemization whereas b equals to y intercept and d and i are integrated peaks peak areas of the respected enantiomers a is okay it's written over here a is the rate constant of racemization of aspartic acid in dentine and b is y intercept so i hope you understood um the methods that are used for dental age estimation in adults first is the visual method and um, then the most important one is gustafson method which has already been discussed in a previous video you can go check that video out and then there is amino acid racemization method so this was all about this video. Thank you for watching.